So the only way to catch a shad is if there's a hole in the net. A shad will find that hole. But most of them, all right, take her out here. Most of them, we'll just grab the ones that are come to you when you get this made. Put it in reverse. And uh, shake the rest of them out. Big shot. Look at them things. Now, do you break the net when you do that? Not big. Back up. Uh -huh. Alright, that's good. Hey, what's up? I'm Sandwood Outdoors in Maryland, and today I got the privilege, I think I've been stalking him on social media. I think I've been nagging him enough that he's finally taking me out to do some fishing, and I'm with my buddy, I'm with my buddy Dave Confair. He is a commercial waterman, crabbing, and right now we are out blue, fi blue <laughs> cat, <laughs> blue cat, yeah. there you go, blue cat. We didn't have much luck today, as pretty as it is, but. Yeah, but. We got a couple, but we're we're waiting for the tide to switch. And we got his cameraman and son and helper. And I think he does everything that he won't. And that's uh, Jonathan over here. And uh, so we're gonna get the catfish and we got uh, we got a couple in the boat, but we're gonna we're waiting for the 40, 50 pounder. Hoping, hoping and praying. That's got a whole blue kill. I like to do with it. Like I said, if you fish a pond or some or a lake, you can you can put them out whole, but in a lot of current when they're on the line. Definitely want to take most of the fins off, trim them up. And that's going to be a big. There we go. Right up in the bushes. You ain't snagging, you ain't bragging. On one hand. Yeah, no baby. Yep, little baby. Look, look the big bait. Going. Five or a thirty pounder, and he turns out to be a five pounder. <laughs> <laughs> I took it down. 